It's Easter Sunday, I'm in an abandoned car park somewhere in Winchester. Behind me somewhere is my nephew Ruben kicking stones around. In the van I've got the XXL Lego go-kart ready for Ruben to finally give it a drive. And I've got these things to try out. Stick around to find out what they're for. Before we came down to the car park, I decided to try some new tuning on the go-kart. However, I've seemed to have uh, lost the electronic braking, so now we're down to disc brakes only. Just have a little gentle run in it, see yeah. how you feel. And then we'll uh, look at turning the power up. There you go. Until Ruben's confident with the handling, I've reduced the top speed to around 50% and the power down to around 30%. GoPro's falling off. Did you not notice losing the GoPro? No. <laughs> it's down there on the floor. I can't get it. <laughs> you hold that a minute. Right, yeah. Pop the screen back in. And then, then you lock and press this button here. 12.3 miles an hour. Do you want to go and tune it up a bit? Yep. Nearly full speed, but we're still limited on power. Just in case you do get a brake failure. Don't leave it until braking too far in. Give yourself lots of room like you did before. Yeah, don't go too far down. So you'll just drift to a stop. Bye. Bye. Since doing my speed run on the go-kart, I've changed the gearing to give more torque and less speed. I've also retuned the motors, and that combined with Ruben's light weight is giving him fantastic acceleration. Ooh, he lost his foot off the pedal. <laughs> you lost your foot off the pedal, didn't you? Huh? Your foot jumped off the pedal. Yeah. <laughs> Now Ruben's used to the unique handling of the go-kart, we turn the power up to full. With the current gear ratio, the top speed should be about 28 miles an hour. Sideways! <laughs> that looked like it was going loads faster. Yeah. <laughs> 26.7 pulled 63 amps at one point, so they were definitely pulling more power. If you remember in my last video, I split the rear axle on the go-kart and this is the first time I've tried it properly and I can say obviously it makes the handling much much better. The other modification was that lower gear ratio which gives me more acceleration. I'm not sure that Ruben needs it but it's much more fun for me. However, with a bit more tuning and if I went back to the original gear ratio, I think there's no doubt that uh, Ruben would thrash my 30 mile an hour record. Right, let's uh, have a play with the power and uh, look at these rear wheels. So what I've got in the box are these. This is Polylite PLA. And the idea is that it's gonna slide over the tire like a drift rim. However, Luke at Polymaker printed me these ones, which are PC Max, which is a really tough polycarbonate based material. And in fact, Luke stood on these to try and break them and they didn't break. So we'll try and fit the polycarbonate ones and see if it drifts. These prints have the same tread pattern as the tyre, which stops them from sliding off the tyre and stops them from spinning around the tyre. This is rear wheel braking only, which means I've basically just removed the brakes, because uh, I'm pretty sure that these aren't going to brake very well anymore. To my surprise, the brakes actually work better than expected, although I wouldn't want to use them at any speed. Yeah, baby! It's more of a burnout than a drift right now, but it's a lot of fun. Oh my god, it's lethal. I really don't think your mum would want you to drive this.
fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it like having, so you were drifting way better than I was drifting. <laughs> we are showing signs and some wear now on these, aren't we? Yeah. It's taken a layer off. But it's survived incredibly well. I think the PLA ones would have been a no-go from the start. Oh, go <laughs> Ruben seems to be loving it and he's drifting well. He certainly drifts better than I am. I think his weight helps enormously because he can get those wheels spun up really quickly. Anyway, love it. So much fun. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Bye. What's next for this go-kart? What about ice tires? Suggestions in the comments, please.